and all his friends laughed at him. The end. Thank you. Thank you very much. This guy's gonna drive me nuts. That's kind of the the point, though, isn't it? Are you lost? Dude, I have duct tape in my inventory. I'm not afraid to use it. All right, guys, we are here at Paradise Falls, and um, it's the Paradise Falls grocery right there. store. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business, and I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Wait a second, you're telling me you're slavers? Um, all right, what's Paradise Falls? Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? I've heard of it. What? Are you right out of the vault? Sort of. Paradise Falls is home to the slavers. Oh, so this is your headquarters. Hmm. Up there, we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, piss off. I see. Slaves like people? Yeah, well, you don't like it? Keep walking. It's that simple. You got something else to say, or did you just come here to preach at me? I have nothing else to say. Uh, except like for... what? Don't be wasting my time out here, or I'll throw you in the pens with the rest of the meat. Um, I don't have time to just have to help let me in. Why can't I go? Why can't I go up the, uh... I just want to look around. You want to look around? Where the hell do you think you are? Stop wasting my time, asshole. What the hell is your problem? Let me in. Maybe there's something you need, huh? I'll help you let me... I'll help you. You let me in. Deal? Not if it means I've got to get slaves for you. Dude, you're pissing me off. My problem is I got a goddamn job to do, and that's keeping assholes and morons from bothering Eulogy Jones and his enterprise. Eulogy Jones. And I'm not sure which you are. I'm thinking moron, because a smart man would have pissed off by now. You want to give me a reason I don't end you right this second? All your yapping is giving me a headache. You looking for a fight, asshole? Just say the word. What if I were to get you some slaves? Come on, let me in. Who... Who's Eulogy Jones? Are you for real? <laughs> you come up to a man's place of business and you don't even know who he is? Uh, no, I don't. He's the man. Runs Paradise Falls. He's the real deal. Definitely not someone you want to mess with. Okay. But Eulogy doesn't waste his time with morons. So piss off before I put you in the dirt. Uh, you looking for a fight, asshole? Just say the word. Hmm. Maybe I could use someone like you. Think you can round up some assets for Eulogy Jones? Might get you into paradise. <laughs> um, you want a fucking resume? Just tell me what to do, asshole. It can't be that hard. Um, I can enslave criminals and the like, right? I don't have to enslave innocents. Well, yeah, but... Okay, so let's just say I just got criminals to be enslaved. You don't honestly believe anyone out there in the wasteland is innocent, <laughs> it's, do you? Well, it's, mm, there's degrees of innocence. We'll put it that way. If you can't stomach the business, then don't get into it in the first place, assuming you're still interested. Eulogy's got a special contract out for a few VIPs. I'm too busy, or I'd get them myself. You get them for me, and I let you in. Deal? Um... No, fuck off. What? After all that yapping about wanting to get in, and you're just going to walk away? Why didn't you do that in the first place? Go on. Canterbury Commons. We will take you where you need to go. Good to see you. Uh. 
I didn't like that guy. He was an asshole. <laughs> Okay, come on, Dogby. Let's go. And stay down. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to be friends with Paradise Falls. We gotta get into their grocery store to get the nukas. <laughs> you are overwhelmingly monstrous. Be oh no! For your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, you have become vilified by the community. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm actually quite proud to say that I'm vilified by slavers. Fuck them guys. In fact, we're not only just going to say fuck them, we're going to kill them. Because that's how we do. Okay. I don't see anybody else in the immediate vicinity. I wonder if these guys have turrets. To be on our guard. Mesmatron power cell? What the fuck is a Mesmatron? Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> First, let's congratulate you on your choosing the Mesmatron as your preferred non lethal subjugation device. Your field reports will assist us in our research and help us continue to improve the Mesmatron's capabilities. Important, please see your su supervisor or commanding officer for details regarding the legal requirements and restrictions before discharging the Mesmatron on civilians. The Mesmatron is the undisputed leader of the field in the field of non-lethal target elimination and retrieval simply point shoot and subdue how it works uh, sends out a series of ways that short circuit key areas of the target's brain much like a radio signal only instead of radio picking up pleasant music the target's brain picks up a series of complex and confusing signals that overwhelm the synaptic pathways with erroneous data turning off important high level thought centers and voluntary motor control class b experimentally efficient classification warning the Mesmatron is still designated as a Class B, experimentally efficient weapon. This means that from time to time, unexpectedly and potentially embarrassing side effect may be experienced. So your supervisor or commanding officer before using it on civilians. Occasional anomalous effects that have been recorded by field tests against certain targets include increased ag aggression, the ext extremely rare resonant brain wave feedback loop, which is usually accompanied by an explosive cranial deformation. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, please report the appearance of any of these anomalies immediately and provide a clear and accurate account of all the circumstances in your field notes. The data we collect from agents in the field, such as yourself, is invaluable for working out these anomalies and getting the Mesopotron reclassified for everyday use. For everyday use, right? Thank you for your service. <laughs> Implied Hypnotics Incorporated. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That is funny. Okay, Mesmatron. Hmm. All right, anyway, <laughs> maybe we'll go use it on that uh, eulogy motherfucker. Get. Oh, fuck! Uh. Wow. Okay, that was brutal.
See, I can do that too, asshole. Let's leave those there in case we have to make a quick retreat. Paradise Falls Shopping Center. Oh, this whole place is a big grocery store. Oh. So this is like, oh, you know what? This is like the grocery store they had in the Fallout TV series. I was kind of thinking that was Super Duper Mart, but... Oh, this guy's name's Carter. Oh, man. Carter, I'm sorry. I didn't know what was happening. Didn't have a chance to try and save you. Search Carter? No. All right, it's going to be time for these. That does not look like a hostile, so we shall not shoot them. Search 40. All right, well, we got a box key. Um... That's worth, that's actually worth a decent amount of money because uh, it's in pretty good shape. So let's take that. Uh, we'll grab the combat armor for now, but we may have to ditch it. Okay, let's talk to Sammy. Oh man, they're going to be mad at you. These slaver guys are mean. Yeah, you got a collar on your neck, dude. I don't like that. Listen, you got to help us. Me and my friends, we got to get at home. Can you help? Can you get us out of here? I probably can. Um, why is this my pro- No, um... Yeah, wh well... He couldn't run before because... Oh, you know what? I'll bet those collars explode if they leave... If they leave the area. Let, let's just ask him that question. You're already out. Can't you just run home? You saw what happened to the other guy. Same thing can happen to me if I try to run away now. Color would pop my head right off. Oh, okay, Besides, yeah. Besides, I don't want to leave without Squirrel and Penny. Okay. I'll hide out here. Can you go in and get them? I can. Uh, I'll get your kids out of here. You're okay for a mungo. A, a mungo? Squirrel and Penny are still stuck inside. You need to get the key to the slave pen to get them out. Okay. That 40 asshole has one. And so does the boss guy, Eulogy. Go get him. Okay, well, that 40 asshole is dead, in case you didn't notice. Um, and I did get his key. So you stay here and don't run away until we can get that collar off your neck. I thought somebody sniper popped him in the head. I didn't realize a collar blew his head off, the other guy. Okay. Well, this ought to be interesting. Um, Let's make sure we're... In good shape here. Do I have any... Uh, yeah, we'll just take a normal stem pack. And I think we're going to get out the big mofo. And let's see what happens. Stow your I was sure I heard something. Piece. Okay, um nothing here after all. What I'm gonna do oh an individual's moving closer. Yeah, it's gone now. 
Uh, by the way, I switched back to my Marine Service Rifle. Uh, it's just an amazing weapon. It does 409 DPS. So, yeah, that's what we're using now. The Infiltrator was kind of fun, but it's not as good as this weapon is. Guy up above. Anybody there? Did I? I hit the edge of this thing, even though I was like twelve inches above it when I was shooting. They cut gibbets. Okay, let's advance. There's a mod on that 10 mil. Double barrel, nah, we don't want that. Pony Express. Let's use it. Bought some 50 mils. I found I ran into Lucky Harith, so I brought those off of him. There we go. That lightened us up. All right. You know what? What the hell? We might as well loot all of this shit. Well, I'm not going to take. Well, how much is that clothing worth? Since we can just... It's worth 18 coin. Might as well, right? Here, let's get this guy's stuff, too. That's the slaver barracks in there. Okay. All right. I want to make sure that... Uh, the outside's clear before we go inside. So if we do have to run back out quickly, we're not running into an ambush. We have a caution. Door to Cutter's Clinic. Okay, so that's two different locations there. Don't shoot at my dog. We'll get him. Dog meat, look out. Look out, buddy. Got him. Still have a caution. Here we go. 
Wait a minute. That's a slave. She's got a collar. I gotta be careful, man. Can't just shoot everything in sight here. That would have sucked, man, if I would have killed her. So I guess this, this is hopeless. Are you are you a bad guy? You don't look like Help. a bad guy. Help! Dog meat thinks he's a bad guy. What is he like the bartender or something? Oh, we'd be stealing. Um, so if you, <clears throat> this is probably like the headquarters of people that want to play an evil character, I'm guessing. Getting jumpy, I guess. Frank, why are you a bad guy? Are you going to attack me? Found well, okay, you attacked my dog. Thought hiding was. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we have to assume Frank's a bad guy. What the fuck? <clears throat> search Emir. Won't let me search him for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, fuck. Where the hell did that come from? Dog me. Get over here. There it is. Oh, that's the lady who had the collar. Why is she shooting at us? Actually, is that the lady that had the collar? I'm confused. <clears throat> yeah, she does have a collar on, but she was hostile towards us. Clover was her name. Huh. I wonder if she... Chinese officer sword. Clover's cleaver. I wonder if she was... Being mind controlled or something by a mesmatron. Clover's cleaver. Kind of a cool looking sword. All right. Um, so let's just finish clearing the area. Then I'll come back and I'll I'll loot all these guys and just ship it all back to Megaton. Uh, but let's make sure we're clear first. Okay, I think we're clear over this way. Those guys are obviously slaves. That's door to the toilets. This place is terrible, please. You've got to help us. That's what I'm here for. 
the gate's open, run for it. There's nobody outside that's going to shoot you. Just don't go in any of the buildings because I haven't cleared them yet. Freedom! Go! You gonna go? What do you need? Oh! Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Is her head gonna get blown off? Wait, lady, stop! I'm stop, 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 stop. I'm getting stop. out of here. I'm getting out of here. Oh, uh, we gotta get the collar off your neck. Wait! Don't go out there! Lady! Is her head gonna blow up? Where'd she go? So can I just... Hmm. Tell you what, let's not... Let's not do that until... We completely clear this place because... We didn't do anything to deactivate those collars. And we don't want everybody else to end up like Carter. Okay, let's go back in. And we crashed. Of course we did. Oh, right. I was going to actually loot all the rest, uh, the rest of these um, guys, too, and send all the stuff back through the Pony Express. Just remember that now. So, okay, that's the toilets. Uh, again, we won't go inside yet until we have the outside completely clear. We're not going to set any more of those slaves free until we are sure that their collars will not explode and blow their heads off. And hopefully, hopefully that uh, that one uh, lady that we let go. Got out okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure she probably did. But we'll be on the safe side. Ooh, look at that. That's a new sniper rifle. Is it any good, though? DKS 501 sniper rifle. It's a 556 sniper. Um. Yeah, it doesn't... I like the scope on it. But it doesn't have, um... interesting looking doesn't have anywhere near the the d the damage per shot or dps that our current weapon has uh, we're using the bullet sniper 87 damage per shot actually this actually actually has higher dps but for a sniper rifle it's the damage per shot that matters more than the dps um and it's not worth a whole lot either but here again since we're right by pony express we'll this is the one I couldn't search for some reason. Uh, we'll pick it up and just ship it off and we can sell it right at Megaton or at our own place. Carolina Red. Search Frank. Sure, we'll take Frank's stuff since we can sell it easily. Um, we'll take Clover's minigun. And then I'll limp over here to dump all this stuff off. Um, I've also got a couple of corpses up there that we got to search as well. Okay, let's check these guys out. Nothing uh, to write home to mother about. Let's start over on the left here. Lock and load. So this must be uh, a weapon store? Oh, there's radiation over there. Okay, let's get our big weapon out just in case we get rushed right when we go inside. And here we go. Time to go into lock and load. Yeah! Look what we have here. Where? Just him? Okay. The 
If we find anything reasonably valuable, I'm going to take it because my karma's maxed out. So we can afford to do a couple of what the game considers evil things, even though I don't consider stealing from my enemy evil. Um, look at all these weapons. Silence 22. Yeah. We'll take all of this shit just because, again, we can ship it back easily. We're going to have a lot of um, fingers to turn in. Lock and load inventory requires key. And you don't have the key on you? Hmm. Okay, here we go. Down into a basement. There's the key. Pronto. This asshole's name is Pronto. Okay, let's go open his inventory. Two hundred thirty five bottle caps. All right, nothing super amazing, but we'll take it all. And I'll go do the usual. Dump all this stuff off in the mailbox, and then we'll go into the next interior place. Okay, let's go around the corner here, and it looks like we've got a eulogies pad. Okay, um, why don't we save this one for last? Yeah, we'll save that one for last. Let's see what else we can do. Nothing back here. Me. I am. Don't worry. Just chillax for a second. Um, we gotta... Tell the children to escape Paradise Falls. But... Are they... Are, are their collars gonna blow up? Let's just... We will do that. Let's just wait there. Yeah, there's uh, a lovely place that they they're living in here. Of course, I wasn't expecting it to be a five-star hotel room, and I think it's time for us to remove these or not. Same situation. Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. No, I'm not taking that. Okay. We have a clinic over here. Or toilets, I guess. The clinic's somewhere else. Drainage great to Paradise Falls. Well, that's interesting. 
this opening is too small for me to fit through. Oh, are you saying I'm fat? <laughs> All right. Two more buildings, and then we'll go into the main one. Uh, was there something over here, actually? I don't think so. Sure, we'll take those. All right, let's go into the clinic. The Cutter's Clinic. That requires a key. Got dog meat. Okay. Let's wake this doctor up first. And see if they're going to attack us. They probably will. But I don't like the idea of killing a doctor. So let's talk to him. You hurt? Ain't nothing I love more than an injured slaver with more caps than sense. Hopefully you fall into that category. Um... Okay. That's good to hear, since I want to take your caps. So... So she's not going to be hostile? Because, again, I would very much like to have another doctor I can go to to get fixed up. Let's just see what happens when we... Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Come back when you've got more injuries and some more caps. I mean, she is an asshole, but as long as she's going to not attack. Okay, we'll let we'll let her live, not because she, I I don't know that she deserves to live, but she's a doctor and uh, they're in short supply. So she still has the ability to do good. We'll say. Slaver Barracks. So this is where all the assholes have their downtime. Burn this goddamn jumpsuit. Vault 77 jumpsuit. Alright, let's see what that's about. Like I told you, man, I don't fucking know where it came from, but it <clears throat> freaks the boys out. Some story from a while back about a stranger with no name. Just get rid of the damn thing. Ain't no good gonna come from keeping it around. Besides, if it is his, maybe he'll come back for it. Comprende? All right. Um, let's go... Nothing special about the jumpsuit itself. I wonder if we're potentially intended to use it to disguise ourselves as this individual, whoever he or she may be. I don't know. I'll take 308 rounds, you betcha. Uh, we'll sell the power fist. Oops. Nobody's in here asleep. 
so they were all on duty. How the hell are they supposed to get up here to take a bath? <laughs> Along here, I guess. Okay, that's it for this room. All right. Let's head on into Eulogy's pad here and put him out of the world's misery. I wonder if we could, uh, uh, I wonder if we could use the mesmerizer thingy on him. I see some bogeys over there. A fight. I bet you. Kill this ant. Did they just? Oh, never mind. All right, let's try this mesmatron. Oh. Asshole. Let's see if this works. They said it could backfire, so. Here, since we're waiting. Why don't, uh, uh, since I'm not going to just outright kill him, let's make ourselves a little stronger. Okay. Whoa. Dude, come over here. Slavers! Kill this asshole! I have news for you, buddy. Your slavers are all dead. Damn, it's a fight. Um. Is he gonna come in here? Too much of a chicken shit to come in here. Damn, it's a fight. What? What the hell just what happened? What we have here? Where? Crimson? No! Yes. Oh, yes. Um, I guess... <laughs> I, I guess the thing did... <laughs> That's right. It did say it could blow up their head. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Okay, well, we tried. Eulogy Jones. Paradise Falls box key. We can't even tell exactly what the asshole looks like. Oh, look at this bed. Oh, that's funny. That is hilarious. Um, and he's got a projector shining on somebody who was crucified upside down, I guess, or, well, hung upside down. Here, let's put... Let's put those on. Paradise Falls main terminal. I uh, can't get into that. Dog mate, get out of the way. Can't get into that either. Nuka Cola, here we go. Okay, this is the actual reason why we came here in the first place. 
we now have enough to turn in that quest. Uh oh. Anything out here? Just a bathtub and a. Oh! A named shotgun called Pull. Oh! 695 DPS? Damn! That's higher than our H and K. Look at that thing. You can't get a really good... Oh, jeez, <laughs> that thing's awesome, dude. All right, it's a 12-gauge. I don't have any 12-gauge shells on me because I shipped them all back. But we'll have to give this a try. It's a nice-looking weapon. Cool. Okay, well, um... We have accomplished what we came here to accomplish. Let's put the light on. And we can't do anything with either one of the... Oh, look at this. I just now saw that. A charisma bobblehead. Fantastic. Okay. He gave us a key to the something or other box. Paradise Falls box or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember such a thing, though. Um, Paradise Falls box key. Okay, well, there's another one. A box. What box? I have to see if we can figure that one out. All right, I think we can uh, free all of the slaves now. There was nothing, you know, the game didn't give us any mechanism to disable their collar, so we have to assume that that has happened. Oh, here's the box. Oh, man, what a shitty way to die, huh? I wonder if we would have, um, do we go in here? Yeah, that's the toilets. I wonder if we would have not killed all these guys and, and, you know, put our lots in with them if this would have come into play later. Probably that's what would have happened. Okay. Kiddos, go free. Man, what a mess. Don't get yourself killed, Mongo. If you haven't noticed there, kiddo, there's nobody left but me, and I'm not dead. I already shorted out the fence system so our collars won't blow. Ah, there I we go. They won't even notice. That's awesome. We're getting out of here. Okay, later. Okay, well, that answers that question. Penny, do you have anything to say? We'll meet you outside if oh. you can make it. I, uh, okay, thank you. Okay. What do you need? Uh, you need to go free. Now's our chance. Let's go. Go. Let's put this away so we don't accidentally shoot somebody. Bread what? box. Oh, hey. What do you need, young fellow? I need you to go free. You, are you okay? You seem a little out of it. What? You'll have to speak up. Um, I said, are you all right? I don't know where the clinic is. They don't <laughs> let us out of the pen. <laughs> okay. Can you hear this? The gates open. Run for it. Ain't got no use for one. Lost most of my hair a long time ago, you see? <laughs> I see. What? No. I okay. Come back if you need something. Not like I'm going anywhere. Right. So that's on him. Huh. Hey, you want to see something funny? All I need is some booze and I'll show you. Uh, gate's open. Run for it. 
Ain't had enough to drink. Can't go nowhere. Are you kidding? If you get out, you can have all the booze you want. Now that, that sounds like a plan. I'm a run for it. Okay, run for it. Make sure you're not in a hurry when you run for it, though. We already went in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, last chance, Pops. Oh, hey! I need you to go. Ain't got no use for... Okay. Well, best of luck to you. <laughs> Is there anything in here? Okay. I can't open that either. I think we're done in Paradise Falls, ladies and gentlemen. Let me do one last drop off here and then we'll go out the door and I guess the kids will be out there to talk to us. I'm glad they explained to us that the callers are now disabled because I was concerned about that. Being the upstanding citizen that I am. Incidentally, Eulogy Jones's suit is plus two to guns and one to charisma. Uh, Naughty Nightwear's, well, Naughty Nightwear's speech, but we like Naughty Nightwear better anyway. All right, where's the kids? They said they were going to meet me outside, didn't they? Or the one kid did, anyway. <laughs> we're out of that shit box. <laughs> we're out of that shit box. Thanks for getting us out of there, Mungo. We're going to head back home now. I'd think twice about coming back here if I were you. These guys aren't going to forget you, you know. Oh, I have a feeling they will forget me. In fact, I think they've forgotten everything. All right, well, are you sh kids sure you don't want, like, an escort or anything? There are death claws and stuff out here, you know. You should come to Little Lamplight sometime, Mongo. Little... Be okay after all. Little Lamplight? I don't even know where that's at, do I? Maybe we'll follow him. I know, now I, <laughs> now I feel like the slimy stalker. Go get him, dog meat. Okay. I'm just gonna hang out with you kids and make sure you get back to Little Lamplight safely. Because there's bad stuff out here. Every man for himself! Can I try? Can you try? Uh, you probably better just leave that to me. I remember hearing about Little Lamplight, but I don't think we've ever found it. Okay, watch out, kids. There's scorps up here. I don't think we need any Yaguai meat. All right, where'd they go? If they get uh, too far away from me, they'll probably just despawn. Oh, there they are. No, no. Wait, yeah. Sammy. You ever make it to Little Lamp White? You come say hi. Show okay, me where it is. And where's your friends? Are th How come you're by yourself? Oh, there they are, over there. Uh. Alright, let's just follow Sammy. See if he can lead us to Little Lamp Light. Don't walk through that water. Dude, not good for you. Not good for you at all. Get 
Get out of the water, please. What happened to the other one? What happened to the girl? Is this it here? Forget those guys. Where's the kids? Well, that's over. over here. How in the hell would they have made it home without me? And where's the other boy now? You guys are killing me. President of your heart. Cheesy McSqueezy. Oh, there's one of the kids right there. I'm a little concerned about the little girl, though. Where, what happened to her? Oh, there she is. Man, you kids are all over the place. There's a scorpion up here. Where'd he go? He's over there. Every man for himself. Are you? Oh. Okay. Is that the scorpion you're afraid of? Come on, kiddos. Let's go. I hope these kids are actually going to lead me to Little Lamplight and this is just not a jaunt around the map. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, kiddo. Shake a leg, buddy. You guys got to stay together. I'm having a really hard time seeing. I'm going to put these back on. The lighting in this with these mods just sucks. It wouldn't be so bad if I was just playing by myself, but when I'm trying to record videos for you guys, it makes it really hard to see shit. Oh, boy. What do we got? Super mutants and <laughs> Too fun. Found you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Take the frag, and that's all I want from them guys. Where the hell are we, by the way? Oh, we're way... Oh, there it is right there. It's already marked on the map. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're almost there. That's a good thing. It's interesting that the game actually has the kids run all the way back to Little Lamplight. Now, that probably doesn't happen if I wasn't with them. It, they'd probably get out of render distance and then just automatically be there, but I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Hey, here we are. You've discovered a little lamplight. Watch it. 
Okay. I think dog meat's in the way. Let's just see what happens here. You guys coming or what? <laughs> he looks like the kid from uh, uh, the second, well, actually the third Mad Max movie. What, or was it the second one? It was the third one, the, the Thunderdome movie. <laughs> Mayor McCready. Okay, this is awesome. Don't take another step or we'll blow your fucking head off. Hey, hey language, mister. Whoa, hold on. I'm a friend. You're big. I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. What is this place? This is Little Lamplight. We live here, and we don't need no mungos messing it up. So just take a hike. Tell me more about Little Lamplight. Why would I tell you anything? God, you're dumb. Dude. <laughs> okay. Patience. Um, who are you? I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor, and I don't like strangers or mungos. Okay. Um, are you sure I can't come in? Hell no! No mungos allowed! Um, I'm the one who saved the kids from Paradise Falls. Oh yeah? Well, why didn't you say so, you stupid mungo? <laughs> Jesus, kid. Okay. Stacy, open the gate and let this mungo in. Nice gate. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know the rules. The rules are stupid. You're a mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer? Bye, Sticky. Yeah, bye, Sticky. Hey, Don't Sib. you stand there. Get out of here already. So, sis, make any good jokes today? Wow, what luck! I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean, where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Uh, I've already been there, dude. Where the grown-ups live? Big Town. You've never heard of it? It's where all the grown-ups go. I have heard of it. Uh, I'm quite familiar with it, in fact. I saved it from a super mutant attack. Well, some of them. Anyways. <laughs> well, at least when they grow up and out of Little Lamplight. I can show you the way. There's no reason to waste your time with a bunch of snot-nosed kids. Let's go now. Um. You got any caps? Uh. Well. That's a long-ass way from here. And we've... Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. I, I need to visit Little Lamplight first. I'm not first. allowed in Little Lamplight. I anymore. know, but you can at least wait outside by the gate, right? Only people under 18 get to live in Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids, we can go to Big Town together. Okay. Right. Not if I can help it. Okay, let's talk to... Today? Let's talk to the mayor. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. Uh, understood. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. No shit butts, gotcha. Okay, I'm not planning on starting the trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. Um... How do you keep this place organized? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy. And I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. <laughs> we can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. I see. Okay. How did you get to be in charge of this place? It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Okay. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. Okay. Um, you said everyone has to leave eventually? 
People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. Okay, I'm familiar with it. Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in Lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown-ups outside. Mm, okay. Um. About time. Can you give me directions? What do I look like, your tour guide? <laughs> uh, see you around, yeah, McCready. That's nice. Scram. Hey, Mayor said to let you in alive, but he didn't say you had to stay that way. Watch your step, Mungo. Okay. Uh, well, I'm glad there wasn't any blood over a misunderstanding. Only people who use that gate are strangers, and most strangers aren't welcome here. Okay. I'm Stacy, and I make sure strangers stay out. If the mayor hadn't let you in himself, I'd make sure you stayed out, too. Understood. Are you the only guard on the front gate? Now I am, yeah. But I'm a good guard, and no one's getting by me now. Okay. Uh, why aren't there more guards? We usually use crawl spaces so mungos can't follow. This gate doesn't get used much, except letting in big cargo or mungos. Both are rare. We used to have two guards here, but we can make do with one, as long as I'm vigilant. We don't have much choice. Sounds like a rough job. You get used to it. Someone has to. Can you give me directions? Okay. Where are you going? Um, do you have it? Yeah, do you have a trader in town? There's a souvenir shop just north of the entrance. That's where Knickknack sells whatever else we can't use. Check there. Sounds good. Uh, do you have a doctor? You know that office building near the entrance? When Lucy's at work in there, she's the one who patches this up. Okay. Um, how about food? Take that tunnel north, and when you hit the fork, go left. You'll find the fungus pools easy enough. Fungus pools. Right. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Um, shit. Hey, dummy. Oh, hey, what's happening? Something wrong? Watch That's his stare. Just talking to morons. Zip was running around. Okay, so... Oh, hey, excuse me. Hey. Hey, how's lamplight life treating you? See ya about. Pardon me. Mutt face. Nick -na oh, here's Nick Nick. Whoa, are we letting Mungos in now? Uh, me. Any shot, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. I'm not. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So, who are you? And how'd you get let in? Um, I I rescued three of your people from the slavers. For all one one, I rescued some Yep, exactly. I'm the, I'm the big hero who rescued your friends from the slavers. How's that for cool? I, if I tell him I'm from Vault 101, he might not believe me, so let's go with this one. It sure isn't bad. Nice work bringing them back. Thank you. You didn't happen to bring anything else back, did you? Gear, equipment, bric-a-brac? Um... Speaking of which, I'm Nick knack and I run the store down here. If you want to trade anything, come on. Can you... What's your repair skill, oh, kid? Oh, boy! Oh, uh, not so good. Okay. Why are you called Nick knack Well, my name was Nick, and I collect knickknacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good answer. Um, all right. So, yeah. See you around. I don't know. Do I... I don't really... I think I have a whole lot to sell at this point because we did all that. I, I put everything in the Hi Pony there. Express box. Nothing much. Hi. One of the widower kids had a rock Zip said looked dirty. But he barely even knows what is and isn't dirty in the first place, see? Souvenirs, Spelunkers, Great Chamber. Food. Mushroom pits. Where does this go? Great chamber. Watch it. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, um, there's obviously a lot going on here, but I think we're going to get back on track, um, because I want to finish the new Coca-Cola Quantum Quest before the end of this episode. Um, I don't know if that kid... He's not in here. Uh, that 
that 18 year old kid that they kicked out will follow me or if I have to follow him. You know what? I'm kind of lost now. Where the hell do I go? Lamplight restrooms. Spelunkers and essentials. Did I come this way? Yeah, I must have, because Knickknack was behind us. Uh, hi, Penny. Hi, Squirrel. Hi, Sammy. Uh, are you you guys? Just collars are off now, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, good. Watch it. All right, yeah. Let's let's just vomitos for now. What is essentials? <sighs> their office building. Uh, I'm not gonna take their stuff. They need it more than I do. Okay, maybe we'll come back here later and do stuff. We'll see, but let's stay on track here. Hopefully this kid will follow me, because we're really close to um, Underger, uh, Underger? Is that what it's called? It's uh, Girder Shade. Undergirder, Girder Shade, oh, it's all the same. So. Okay. Where's that guy at? Oh, here he is. You want to go to Big Town? Of course you do. Uh, what's with the party hat? Oh, I forgot I had that on. It was for my birthday. Here, you take it. I don't want it anymore. I don't particularly want it. I guess I have it. Um, Big Town, I've been there before. You have? I have. I mean, of course you have. It's an awesome place. Oh, well, enough sure. talking. Let's get a move on. You are taking me to Big Town, right? I guess I am. All right. Yeah. Big Town, here we come. Okay. Are you going to follow me now? Who's following who? That's the question. Okay. He's following me. Good. Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, God. Are we there yet? <laughs> That's just great. All right. Dog meat. You take Are we the there yet? you take uh, the rear watch there, and we're we're gonna take a little bit of a detour, Sticky. So just stay with me, keep your head down, don't make a lot of noise. Are you lost? And if I pull my gun out, duck. That's a Brahmin. I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a time, there was this dog. Mm -hmm. His name was Joking John. I've got him. Flank him. And one day, a spaceship from outer space landed right in front of him, and a big green alien jumped out and started eating people. And was our so-called hero scared? You bet he was. He cried like a little baby. Wah, wah, wah. And all his friends laughed at him. That's telling. The end. Right. Sneaky. I can do that. Dude, find cover. There's very uh, dangerous are, people are about sneaking it. sneaking around now? Cool. Yes, we are sneaking around because we like to live. Are we there yet? Oh, I'm hitting the tree, damn it. Why is this taking so long? Shut up. Don't give away our position. Why is this taking so long? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Got him. I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a Let's time, not. There was this man. His name was Holy Toledo. And he was really powerful. <laughs> and one day, this giant super mutant attacked him and tried carrying him off. And was our so called hero scared? You bet he was. He cried like a little baby. Wah, wah, wah. And all his friends laughed at him. The end. Thank you. Thank you very much. This guy's going to drive me nuts. That's kind of the the point, though, isn't it? Are you lost, dude? I have duct tape in my inventory. I'm not afraid to use it. 
Okay, we gotta go this way. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a time, there was this dog. His name was Holy Toledo, and he was really powerful. And one day, a spaceship from outer space landed right in front of him, and a big green alien jumped out and started eating people. And what did our hero do, you wonder? He came up with the most cleverest of clever plans. And it worked, and everyone called him a genius. The end. That's all, folks. If only it was all. Dude, don't get so far behind. I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Oh, brother. Once upon a time, there was this dog. His name was Joking Joe. And he went all around making everyone laugh really hard at all his funny jokes. And one day, a giant ant came up to him and started talking like he wasn't some dumb ant, but a person of some kind. It said, prepare to die. And was our so-called hero scared? You bet he was. He cried like a little baby. Wah, wah, wah. And all his friends laughed at him. The end. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a vendor, I think. Oh, traveling merchant guy. Are we there yet? Why is this taking so long? I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a time, there was this dog. His name was Super Dupe Dave, and he went all around Your rescuing people from super mutants and slavers and like other nasty know. things. And okay, we are here. And one day, this giant sure. super mutant attacked him early. and tried carrying him off. And what? The end. That's that, all, folks. Good. The end. <clears throat> Sierra. Nothing beats a taste. The taste that'll knock you out. If you're here with some quantum, I have caps with your name on them. I'm here with some quantum. Um, I have the last of the quantum. Did you know Ronald has offered to buy a quantum from me? Okay, so if I tell her this... And she realizes that Ronald likes her. Maybe a romance will start. Or maybe she'll think he's a perv and run him out of town. I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it up to Ronald to let her know that. None of my business. Let's just turn in the quantum. You've done it. My machine is finally full. Yay. Well, like I promised, here's your surprise. The schematic for the Nuka Grenade. You've sure earned Nice. It. Nuka Grenades pack a punch. That's that's a nice price. I'll take it. If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. Okay. Nice. That doesn't suck. Why is this taking so long? Dude, you're killing me. Um, How much... I think I have an, an additional four of those. Just out of... Oh, no. I only have one. Really? Didn't I have 34 of these and she just needed 30? I don't know. Um, I am curious, though. I can sell this for 20 caps. What will she give me... Give it to me for? Hiya! What you doing back here? Um... What kind of recipes can you make with Nuka? Has Ronald been bothering you? Is there anything else interesting to see? Tell me more about the Nuka cocktail. How do I... Yeah, do you know... What about Grady? Nope. Sorry. All right. Okay, I don't even know what. Um... I don't know a whole lot about weapons, but I do know that it's more powerful than the Molotov cocktail. It explodes in a huge blue flame, too. <laughs> how cool is that? Mm, and you drink the stuff. Okay, how do I give you more Nuka-Colas? What kind of recipes can you make with Nuka-Cola? Well, 
the stuff is so rare, I only know one. It's called Mississippi Quantum Pie. It's delicious. If you want me to make you one, I can. Just bring me some flour, vodka, and a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Okay. I can whip it up in no time. Gotcha. Um, Mississippi Quantum Pie. Right. Um, is there anything else interesting? Well, to the east there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Uh, there were. Well, actually, they've probably repopulated. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway. Okay. Um... All right. How's Ronald been? Oh, no. He's such a cutie pie. He never bothers me. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't know how I'm supposed to sell these to her. If you... So I guess... Aww. Do I... Let's try one more time. Because there wasn't an option for me to sell. Maybe it has to be during the oh, day. Oh, good. You came back. Yep, no, okay. Let's go. Ronald's, there yet? Ronald's probably going to be pissed at me for uh, not doing it. Bringing him to him. Let's see what he has to say. What? You know someone named Grady? Grady? Maybe. Why are you asking? Oh, you do know who Grady is. I have a package for you from him. I found him dead. I, um, well, he's, I found him dead after I killed him. <laughs> I found him dead. Holy crap. That son of a bitch took my caps and ran and now he ends up dead? Oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. It wasn't Grady. It was Lugnut. Uh, oops. No, I'll never get that package. But I have a package for you from him. Holy crap. You have it? Well, hand it over. I've been waiting over a year for that damn thing. But, okay, hold on. Sure, here you go. And you, Sure, here you go. Hang on a second. You want it? You need to pay for it? I'm not giving you anything. 500 caps and I'll give it to you. Well, okay, hold on a sec. Um... Yeah, I, I kind of don't like you, A... And I don't know if I want to give up my jammies. They give us like 10 speech, and they're very sexy. Yeah, you know, fuck you. I'm not going to give you anything. Oh, I know how this game's played, kid. You do? Fine. How about I pay you 200 caps for it? It's the same money I would have paid Grady. Nope, I'm holding on to it. Fine. Be an asshole. When you get hungry for caps, you know who to talk to. Okay. Is there anything else interesting near Gerdersheim? My Street? friend, you are at the ass end of the Capital Wasteland. <laughs> if it weren't for Sierra, I'd be out of here. One thing I can tell you is stay the hell away from the Dunwich Building to the south. That place is bad mojo. I've already kicked the shit out of the Dunwich Building, but thank you. I don't know what you. that place is about, but I hear about weird shit going on. Yeah. Um, they're called glowing ones. Okay. Uh. Whatever. Yeah, we're not giving up our jammies. Sorry. I know. Oh. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Let's not. Once okay. Upon all right, we need His to get was this Super kid to Big Town. He went all around rescuing I wonder if we fast travel, things. if he'll fast travel with us. You want to change From outer space, the landed right in front of him. Let's do it. Big green alien jumped out and... We'll do a save first, just in case this doesn't work. We're almost there. Come awesome. On. Okay. Yippee! You coming? Okay, this is your new home. Um, I hope you like it. Hooray! I was starting to think that Big Town wasn't a very good place to live. But now I think we can do it. Thanks to you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Remember, if you ever need a sidekick, I'm your man. I'll be sure to forget that. Okay, so we got him home safely. Do I need uh, any doctor attention? Let's see. Status. 
Nah, we're in pretty good shape. I don't think so. All right, you guys. I'm going to... Uh, Have you come to talk to me? Mm, well, I brought you a new member for your village. And you guys kind of need it because uh, the super mutants took several of you out the last time I was here. Uh, and you haven't even cleaned up their corpses yet either. Why is he still breathing? I'm not even going to go there. All right, you guys. Well, <laughs> that's going to be it for this episode. So my plan is um, for the next episode to... Oh, excuse me. Uh, get get back on the main storyline. Um, that's what we're going to do. Um, we do have a shit ton of fingers to turn in, and for whatever reason, <coughs> we turned in this hilltop line quest, and then it repopped again. So I think it, it, the radio tower or the train tunnel, one of those places, has a fast travel location. So what I'll probably do is just pop up there and, and do it again, um, you know, so we can actually complete it and get then get a new one. So maybe what we'll do is we'll start the next episode um, up there. We'll we'll do the quest, and then we'll run over to the regulator headquarters, turn that in, and then get started on the main quest line. I think that is what we're gonna do. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.